Greetings, programs. This is Rich. Welcome back to Between Horizons. And in the last episode, guys, Stella was tasked with figuring out where exactly the ship-wide power outage originated from. So if we look here at our case notes, there are four power nodes on the Zephyr, one in each section of the inner hull. Paul said that we might be able to locate the cause of the outage if I find out which of them went out first. The alarm on the ship went off after the first two nodes went out. And take a look around the power node rooms in the inner hull. Segments C and D are currently inaccessible due to flooding. Great. So, um, if we go to power node A right here, and let's see if we can figure out power node B. So we are fairly close to the first one. Let's go ahead and hustle that way. Take a look here. Definitely looking worse for wear. Power node A log. The large rod at the center of the power node room in the inner hull A. The machine seems to back up, seems to be back up and running. There's a display on its side providing a readout of power node A's latest log. I filed it separately. Leading up to the outage, the log says all power nodes running, status okay. Malfunction detected, one power node off grid, two power nodes off grid, alarm started, three power nodes off grid, status critical, shutting down. So that would tell me that power node A may have been the very last one. That's something. Maybe I'm not interpreting that correctly, but. Chi Chi, why'd you run away from me? Come here, I'll bring you back home. Chi Chi, wait! God damn it. Next time. Forgot our great search to find our cat. Ah, uh, the scene of the crime. Maintenance room, still can't go in there. Hey, wall compartment, we already checked that out. Power node B. It, oh, hello there. New evidence, Tijan. Broken PDA. A lone broken PDA smeared with blood. I found it on the floor. Somebody seems to have lost it in the power node room at the inner hull B. It looks really banged up and there's traces of blood on it. Tijan is the engineer responsible for power node B. Residential area LD2 engineer. Um, what is this one? This seems to be one of the manned power nodes. The display on the machine says Responsible Engineer Tihan. So, no information whatsoever. Maybe we need to go pay a visit to LD2. How close are we to the living quarters? Um, travel this way. Oh man, look at this. Chi Chi, stop. See, that's when you grab him. This one's on me. I definitely scared her away. I need to take a different approach next time. Can someone else help us get the cat? That would be ideal and probably in everyone's best interest. One more time, LD2. So... Or was it now? Where is it now? 
Hold on. L2D. Okay. Sorry. L2D. Teacher Mariola. Teacher Simon. How are you holding up? Uh, Chief, we're all in still in shock, but physically okay. We just finished going around the bunks to check on all the kids. Seems like they're all accounted for, thankfully. Most of them are actually in better spirits than I thought. I guess they haven't depleted all their optimism yet. That's dark, Chief. Sorry. I don't think that's too dark. Lewis's... Oh, yeah, we need to stop by Lewis's bunk, didn't we? Hmm... Well, stuff got knocked down, but she seems okay. If something happened to her, I don't think Lewis would ever forgive us. Is there a stairway we can take? Oh, there we go. Right here. Was it L2? L2D. Hmm. Well, I could have sworn that was probably where we needed to go. Maybe we just need to check the... Stella! I'm so glad to see you up on your feet again. I heard you were at the hospital. Just some scratches and a headache, it seems. I'm glad to see you're all right, too. The same can't be said about my bunk, unfortunately. Looks like a pipe burst during the incident. I found it completely flooded when I got here. Oh, that sucks. Is help on the way? I'm waiting for Engineer Tonio, but apparently he's fixing something at the Earth Museum first. Should I tell him it's urgent when I see him? Thank you, but it won't make a difference. Everything's drenched anyway. All right. I have to get back to work. There's a million things going on right now. Of course. At least you can do something about the situation, it seems. I feel a little useless right now. Can't really fix the ship or the people. I feel as I let Tonio into my bunk, I'll go and look for an opportunity to help clean up. You do something important every day. Teaching the youth. Don't worry. If you say so. Okay, well... Power node B... With traces of blood? Where would we find this engineer if not... In quarters? Well, worst comes to worst, it gives us an opportunity to try and find the cat. Look, we all know humans have destroyed their planet in a number of ways, which is why we set out to destroy a brand new one. One of those ways being the climate catastrophe we've all heard so much about. But, but how many of you have actually read through Earth's materials on its history? Oh, not another drunken public history lesson. Well, I've read everything on the subject, including the stuff between the lines. One of the biggest lies ever told to the people of Earth was that each one of them was personally responsible for protecting their planet. I mean, this was technically true, just not in the way people were led to believe. The powers that be convinced everyone that they had to adjust their personal lifestyles to protect the Earth's fragile ecosystem. But it was just a diversion from everyone's real responsibility holding the powers that be responsible instead. No amount of individual action can put a dent in the problem. Pushing for systematic change was the only real way to avoid the crisis. But individual action offered people an out, an illusion of being part of the solution and not the problem. 
Not only did it provide them with a clean conscience, but also a reason to feel superior to their neighbor who didn't do as much. Divide and conquer, all part of the plan hatched by those in power. You know, those few who could actually affect change if only they didn't profit way too much off the status quo. I mean, I guess people on Earth at least got some voting rights along with all their supposed responsibilities. Thank you for this fascinating look into Earth's history, Mikio. Now if you could get off that counter before you fall and get hurt. Is that a threat, Chief? Of course not. Being concerned for your safety is quite literally my job. Sounds more like your job is to quite literally control me. Fine, do what you want. If you fall on your thick skull and end up wasting our medical resources. Then what, Chief? Oof. The natives are restless. The peasants are revolting. Peasants have always been revolting. Now they're rebelling. I hear power saw or something. Hmm. I don't know where to go, guys. I mean, we're finding interesting situations and people. So I guess we have that to look at. And we also have some of these areas to explore. Let's do that. Maybe we could hand the doctor um, the bloody PDA and get an analysis on the blood. Okay, stay cool. Chi-Chi! Chi-Chi! Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, that was probably creepy. We're getting there. Baby steps. Reproduction ward. What's going on in here? Uh, reproduction, I assume. Ashton. Ashton, I barely dare ask, but did the vats sustain any damage? We had a close call in here, Chief. A couple of them, actually. As you can see, a few vats were toppled over and cracked open. The fetuses weren't injured by the initial fall, but they can't survive for long in an empty vat. Luckily, I made it back here within minutes of the incident. Nutrition solution was already spreading all over the floor, and I sprung into action. It seems like I was able to transfer all fetuses to intact vats in time. They're all in stable condition now. I just hope they didn't get contaminated with anything dangerous in the process. You're a hero, do you know that? Just doing my part. We create all these fetuses, that makes it our job to protect them with all we got. If we expect them to serve the mission one day, we need to serve them now. True. Oh, that's good. That could have been worse. Infographic baby vat. Hmm. Sure, that might come in handy later. Can we look at the evidence? Whereas most people on Earth are carried to term by their biological mother, natural pregnancies are avoided on the Zephyr in favor of breeding bats. Every parent to be may freely choose the genetic material of their offspring from a vast database of preserved genetic material from Earth. They may also choose to use DNA of their own and or, with their consent, that of another person on the ship. I'm sure that does- oh. Please, Destina. I'm sorry, I can't. Our resources are stretched too thin already. We can't help with your pet when human lives are on the line. He's not just a pet to me, he's family. Stella, you have to back me up here. I need medicine for Kimmy. The Codex states clearly that our medicine is only meant for humans in the first place. Be grateful for the expectations, exceptions we made in the past. We cannot afford to make another one today. Destina, you should... Give her the medicine. Give her the medicine, please. Thank you, thank you. Fine, but you're bearing the consequences if we run out, Chief. Go pick them up at the front desk, Liana. I have to get back to work. Okay, thank you so much. I excuse me, 
Can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Uh, are you the chief? Oh, um, yes, I am. And you're Elliot, right? Eric's son. That's so cool that you're chief. I want to be chief someday. Well, can I? Mm. You never know what the future brings. Maybe you'll get your chance to become chief someday. What are you doing here anyway, Elliot? Did you get hurt? Because of the thing when the lights went out? Uh, no, I only have some scratches. I need to see Dr. Yaha because of my condition. Your condition? She gives me my medicine every other day or else I can't breathe right. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. She always tells me a new story so it doesn't get boring. On that note, she's waiting for you in examination room. Okay. Goodbye, Chief. I hope we just didn't give away his medicine to the animal. Poor boy. What's his diagnosis exactly, if I may ask? It's a complex problem that we didn't really have back on Earth. He'd probably be completely fine in a planetary atmosphere. It's a genetic disease we dubbed interstellar dystrophy. A handful of people on the ship are affected. Is there nothing we can do? I'm afraid not. We tried everything we could think of. We were hoping for some breakthrough research from Earth in this year's arrival day transmission, but we were disappointed. Hmm. Hey, there you are. Engineer Tihan. Oh, Chief. How do you feel? Red better days for sure. I was at work when the ring slammed me into the wall and I blacked out. Did it really come to a full stop? I'll get back down to the power node as soon as I can run some diagnostics. Do you have an idea what happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. You haven't heard anything about Arjun, have you? No, what do you mean? I think I saw them wheel him into one of those rooms over there earlier. He seemed really hurt. But I'm not completely sure I was still a little out of it. I'll see if I can find him. One more thing. I believe that some power nodes in the inner hole are manned and some are unmanned? Correct, I'm working B and D as Arjuns. A and C are unmanned. Does it make any difference I should be aware of? Only that unmanned nodes provide a readout of recent activity. Arjun and I can tell you what went down in the other two. Well, what went down in that display? Power Rod B. About these large rods in the middle of the power node rooms. They receive and distribute the power to the respective part of the ship. The two unmanned ones provide a log of all nodes' recent activity. If the screen on the rod is black, does it mean that node is inactive or broken? Not necessarily. They are frequently turned off and may break or get disconnected independently. Right now, the rods in all four nodes are certainly back up and running. How do you know? Because no parts of the ship are currently unpowered from what I've heard. It was pitch black in the room as soon as my node failed. A warning popped up on the screen and suddenly it went out entirely. Did you catch what it said? It reported a node failure, or maybe multiple. In other words, one or more nodes failed before yours. Correct. Do you know anything else about the order of events during the power outage? I'm afraid not, Chief. Hmm, that's something. Okay, examination room, consultation room, intensive care room. Let's see what's in here. Okay, Elliot's getting an examination. Hopefully we can find something for you. I'd like to make sure we could help Elliot. And nothing in here. No intensive care room for us right now. And that just leads back to the other pathway. Alright, well, let's see 
What's going on upstairs? And I know we can probably ask him some more questions, but I want to get the lay of the land here. And also find our cat. Ooh, psychiatry, huh? Oh, that's the only one we can go into. Psychiatric department, huh? And that takes us right back. Chi-Chi, what the hell is your problem? Oh, I got angry again. My bad. Oh. Well, there's not, re not really a place for Chi-Chi to go, except maybe through a ventilation shaft. We're back here, and that's about the... Yeah. Alright, maybe it's time we ask some questions now. We'll ask about the PDA. I might be acting a little too paranoid, but... I found this PDA in the inner hall. It looks like its owner may have ended up here. Agreed, but I cannot tell you who as it is. About half the PDAs on the ship probably look like that right now. Oh, well, that's fair. That's my PDA, or rather it was from the looks of it. Must have gotten smashed when I hit the wall. I'll get back to the power node as soon as possible and see if it still works. So, let's see if we can get any kind of information here. Stationed in the inner hull D. I don't see him often obsessed with Earth sports. I thought... Yeah, C and D are currently inaccessible due to flooding. Maybe he's outside? Let's see. C and D. And it just doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. Well, that's manned, then. Residential area R3A. Well, we can always check and see. R3. Okay, top floor. There's really nowhere for him to go if his area is flooded. So maybe we can get that info from him. All the way here. Okay, there's Rose's bunk. Asher's bunk. Okay. No access to his place. So what would be the best way to... What would be the best way to go about this? So if we're going to believe Tihan, he said in terms of his comms that it reported a node failure. And then if we look here... It, now, we're going to assume, for the sake of argument, that he's telling the truth. And then if we look here... Four power, after the first two nodes went out. Take a look around the power node. Someone was hurt in power node 
B. A and C are unmanned, but they feature displays providing logs of the node's activities. The power node he was working on was not the first one to go out, and neither was... And he was at B. And according to the evidence here, power node A was the last one. So it has to be either C or D. Hmm. We're making progress. Slow, slow, but steady progress. I know I'm probably doing this way too slow for folks, and I apologize, but I don't want to miss anything. Oh. Darren, don't touch that. You said we were picking everything from the floor. Not the cut cables, you'll get yourself electrocuted. Can I help you, Chief? Uh, actually, you can help me. Darren, the Chief said she's gonna lock you away if you touch that again. Nuh-uh. I... She did. Some help we are. We should go back to the lab soon. On the other hand, Darren hasn't been this excited about a task in a while. Well, every little bit helps. Can we go into the Earth Museum? Oh, did all the fish die? They all get a shake. Obsessed with Earth sports. Still can't go in here. Yeah. Yeah, can't go that way. Still looking for kitty. Gonna check one more time. Mm -hmm. Back in the command area. The brig we already visited. And this will actually loop around all the way now, right? I think. Yeah, to the biological area. Good. Right into the intensive care room. Margin. Who did... Hold on, what did you say? Oh, yeah, he got wheeled into one of those rooms. All right, I'm a derp and was not paying attention. Excuse me, is Engineer Arjun somewhere in the hospital right now? I really need to talk to him about a case. Yes, but he's over in the intensive care room. Can't this wait? He's in stable condition, but he should rest. I'm afraid it's urgent. Fine, but please keep it short. I'm locking the room for you. I will, thank you. Okay, now we can go into the mighty intensive care room, well guarded and locked down. Is that you, Doc? No, it's Chief Stella. Chief, sorry I can't see all that well right now. That's alright, I hope your eye is back to normal soon. So do I, the Doc is not so sure. Let us ask about... Tihon, maybe? Or, wait, you're, he works at power node D. Excuse my ignorance, but what exactly are power nodes anyway? Basically, they distribute electricity throughout the ship, each responsible for its own segment of the ring. There are four room, rooms we call power nodes, even though technically a node is the equipment inside one such room. Its main component being the rod in the center. They're located in the inner hole, but I heard that nodes C and D are currently inaccessible due to the flooding. Nodes B and D are manually maintained and monitored by an engineer, whereas nodes A and C are unmanned. Mm -hmm. 
but they needed to check on that. Hmm. Power rod B. That's me. Yes, yes indeed. Have you seen my colleague Tian since the incident? He was working at power node B when it happened. Yeah, he's being treated while outside in the hallway. Seems to be in okay condition. Well, that's good to hear. So maybe I need to... Am I missing the other nodes? There's A and B. Yeah, and you can't get to C and D. We're not asking him the right questions. But I'll tell you what, we will go ahead and do that in the next episode. We're making progress, slow but steady. But I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.